In this tutorial, we're going to look at a unique feature of FL Studio. That is, the ability to load FL Studio inside itself as a VST plugin. Indeed, you can load FL Studio inside any VST host, which is a great alternative to rewire. Okay, but why would you load FL Studio inside itself? Well, as you can see here, I'm using the 64-bit version. If I try to load the fruity sound font player, I get a rather sad message that it's not available in 64-bit. That's because the sound font player can't be bridged. But we have the technology. Let's load FL Studio 32-bit inside FL Studio 64-bit and then load the sound font player inside the 32-bit version. Genius. You can load the FL Studio VST from the plugin database under Installed, Generators, VST. There's a multi and stereo output version. However, if you have chosen the default installation, the 32 and 64 bit versions won't be shown. If that's the case, we need to change some options in the plugin manager. Open the plugin manager by right clicking the plugin database category and selecting Manage Plugins. The problem is, Combine Presets for Identical Plugins is selected. I'll deselect it as that combines the 32 and 64 bit versions of plugins into a single preset. Next, making sure you have Rescan Previously Verified Plugins selected and Verify Plugins up here, then Start Scan to break out the 32 and 64 bit versions of plugins. Now, if I go to the plugin database under Installed, Generators, VST, there's a multi and stereo out 64 bit version shown in square brackets, and the unbracketed versions are 32-bit. To load FL Studio 32-bit inside FL Studio 64-bit, I'll drag and drop the preset on the channel window. Open the FL Studio VST by clicking on the fruit icon, and now we're using FL Studio 32-bit. Wow, I'm so giddy with excitement, it's hard to remember that I'm here to load the fruity sound font player. So replace the first channel with the sound font player as this is the one with direct MIDI input. Great. So if we close this FL Studio, we're back to the 64-bit version as host. With that, you know how to load FL Studio VST inside the standalone version. And with a little thought, this will open up even more creative possibilities and help you with the sound font player. Enjoy!